So this is an example of the first mini project drawing unit. This person has started off with a project which is based on drawings and then on the first page he has got uh, a drawing of uh, his dad actually and there are maps of Iran on this title page. So if we move on we go from quite a good quality drawing, I think he gets away with leaving it half finished and then we've got some information about his dad, his background, where he was born. I would consider this to be more of a sketch than a drawing. Although in the sketchbook you want to show your ability to be able to draw well and sketch well. They are two different skills. So we've got more information here again on where he's living now and where his family came from. So now we have another example of a drawing again probably a cross between a drawing and a sketch quite loose. And then he starts to look at artists who draw in a particular way and he's chosen artists who, although they draw using different techniques, what links them all is they all draw on top of maps. So they use the contours of the map to guide their drawing line sometimes and sometimes it just provides a background. The main artist he looks at is an artist called Fairburn and as well as looking at their work and analysing and commenting on it he's done a copy of one of the pieces of work again using cross hatching in this way to create an image. So now we're looking at he's starting to combine the ideas from the artist he's looked at with uh, the images of his dad on the maps of Iran. Uh, these are very loose drawings but they are meant to show composition rather than drawing skills. What's nice about this page is he's going back to the ideas what he intends to do but we have a high quality image and I'm presuming this is an image he's likely to use or one he's considering for his final piece of work. So again we've got some experiments of how to combine the main lines in Iran onto the face. So he's adding the lines to the drawing rather than putting the drawings on top of the maps. And here we have his step by step pictures of him creating his final image. Another good example of a drawing and then a picture of his final image. Now one of the things which I haven't mentioned which makes this project stand out as a higher mark is we have these colours, these paints around the edge. It adds a vignette around the drawing which helps to focus one's eye and attention into this area. And what is interesting about this is if you read the text, his dad had to return to Iraq to see some family and he collected various sand and soil and mud uh, which were then used and combined with paint to be part of the drawing. So not only is he using the lines and the contours of a map of Iran but he's also using physically the earth of Iran itself which again adds a cleverer dimension to the work and puts it up to that higher level.